Thank you everyone for joining us in the latest episode of Life Actually with L.A. Mumar as we extract nuggets of wisdom and key values for some of our friends who will visit us here ready to share yung mga stories nila, their principles, their values, and sometimes even their mistakes as they go through this journey we call life. Let's listen, let's learn, and let's do life together. At uh, itong guest natin is, uh, alam ko medyo big time na siya, pero nung mga bata pa kami, nung hindi pa siya ganun ka big time, eh, masatawag kong, ane, kabarkada ko pa rin naman hanggang ngayon. No? So special tong guest natin today. He used to play uh, for the Ateneo Blue Eagles, part of the 2002 championship team. I, he was my teammate. And uh, mamaya pag-uusapan namin, he was my teammate back in 95 when he was also part of the Eaglets champion team. At uh, used to coach the women's, uh, Ateneo women's basketball team. But now, mostly known as the manager of three-time, three-peating champions, Ateneo Blue Eagles. Let's all welcome to our pad podcast etong si Mr. Christopher Epo Kimpo Hey Epo, what's up? Hello, hello. Kamusta kayo? Grabe <laughs> naman sa introduction. Parang Oh naman. Tulog ako sa upuan ko noon eh. Oh, eh, oh eh. without saying introduction pa lang. Wala na akong ano, wala na akong <laughs> Wala na ako oras sa sarili ko. <laughs> so, okay. Ah, hindi ko pa ba nasabi na Secretary General ng uh, badminton yan dito sa Pilipinas. Dumamay ang pag-uusapan natin lahat. Epoch, wow, I'm so glad. How's it going sa family? I, uh, I know, uh, but uh, I know you're very busy. And how's it been going uh, since the lockdown? Well, uh, like most of us, uh, I was able to spend a lot of time with the family. Uh, marami rin akong natutunan na bilang ko yung poste, ilang poste sa bahay, <laughs> yung, ilang plato, paano maghugas, luto. Uh, but but uh, seriously, it was, it was also a blessing uh, for me because I was able to spend quality time uh, not only with my three girls, but especially with the, my little boy, no. So mm. it's a it's amazing how how fast it is when it when it comes to the the children and bilis eh. And to some bilis. extent, when we were in the normal stage of our lives, parang hindi natin napapansin. It's just one of uh, the things that we have to to address in in the day. Pero yung yung time that you spend with them. Uh, well, ma, ano, ma, for me, it was it was special because yun talaga naman yung, yung at the end of the day gusto natin mangyari. So, yeah, it's, it, nice. it's, it's very good. It's very good, actually. Oh. And, you know, not a lot of people know that, uh, of course, I know, dahil magkaibigan tayo, but uh, not only do you handle the Blue Eagles, but you also have a day job, di ba? You, you, uh, you work for Smart. Uh, you have a day job there. Yes, uh, so smart naman, I, I do marketing, sports marketing to be specific. Uh, so the, the company is actually uh, very good to us, uh, not only me, pero sa mga empleyado, no? they're very supportive from day one. Uh, they recognize uh, you know, that you have to work from home, that you don't risk your, your health just to go to the to Makati in order to report to office. So, marami, maraming protocols and guidelines na ginawa yung company and even uh, personal support, especially to sa mga nangailangan uh, because of this whole pandemic. So, yeah, okay naman, okay naman. Blessed. Okay, <laughs> nice. Um, you know, uh, let me go straight to my question. I think uh, having you as guest is great. Uh, one, because a lot of people know you for being the manager of the Blue Eagles, but also because you have a day job. And a lot of our listeners are not into sports in the sense na hindi naman sila coach or hindi sila manager, sure. hindi sila player. But they're people who work in Makati, work in Ortigas. And siguro ito na yung um, sasalbo na ako kaga dun sa tanong ko uh, with this. You have been known as the manager who built this 3P team 
together with Coach Tab, Coach Shandy, of different players. Pero alam natin that the background of this team was Coach Norman Black had a fight beat with uh, <laughs> si Trillo, all right? Diba siya yung yeah. manager during Paolo. the time? And, yeah. Oh, si Paolo. And then all of a sudden, uh, they went to the PBA and you were tasked to take over a team Parang, you know, people are asking, Pok, pare, five feet, papalitan mo, parang nowhere to go but down yun, ah. Hindi, <laughs> totoo. It was, when, when, when I got the call, uh, actually, I was coaching the women's team that, then. No, uh, ang women's team kasi, I don't know if you shared with, with, with the, your, your friends and your listeners, morning kasi yung practice noon, eh. So at that time, it was easy for me to practice in the morning and then report to work. So ganun yung practice ng Ateneo and then I drive all the way to Makati or that time I was with uh, sales. So punta derecho ako ng, ng client call or ng sales call. Uh, then yun na nga, uh, when Coach Norman decided to go to the pros, uh, sumama si Paolo. And then I got the call and sabi ko nung kinalaman ko sa so <laughs> <laughs> much knowledge. And syempre kasi for for uh, it it was fortunate for me then to coach because it is something that I really wanted to do. Diba? Just like when you have um, a passion for let's say music or a passion for writing even when you're doing something else babalik at babalik ka dun sa gusto mong gawin eh. And for me, that was coaching that time. And kaya nung ano, yeah. nung, uh, kaya nung nagkaroon ng, ng chance na mag-coach, ah, talagang nag-ready ako doon. You know, it's another story altogether. Uh, but uh, it, it, was, it was somehow difficult because before, uh, I had uh, great mentors eh, when it comes to corporate. You have your your manager, uh, di ba? And daming and daming ano? And daming tumutulong sa you. You have guidelines, di ba? You have uh, sales uh, training. So everything is you know, para kang sponge. Eh. Pasok lang ng pasok yan. And with your uh, education, tineyo education, you get to parang uh, develop and mature yourself in terms of this industry. So. Yung maganda yun. Now, nung pumasok yung coaching, ang tanging pundasyon mo ay eh kung ano yung nangyari or pinagdaanan mo. So, walang bagong training. So, kaya nung, ano, nung, nung dumating yung coaching, I, I actually uh, got sick. So, nung, okay. ano, nung, nung nagkasakit ako, sabi ko, ba't ako magkakasakit? So punta ako nagkaroon ako ng patch. Herald, I don't I forgot the ano eh, what what the the sakit eh, parang Herald Herald patch. Eh. So punta ako ng derma. So sabi ko, "Dok, pa ako nagkasakit." Ah, because you're ano, you're stressed. Stressed, <laughs> stressed okay. with work. So inisip ko, pagdating kasi sa work, syempre sales ka, 'di ba? May mga targets uh-huh. ka. Eh for the rest of the year target na ako eh. So parang okay. I just do due diligence, yung mga documentation. Oh. Eh, ano pa lang nun? Um, October. Kota ka yun na? Pala, oh. Oo, na-stress ako sa coaching. Okay, okay. Pero yun nararamdaman kasi yun yung gusto kong gawin. Okay. So, may, may mga ganun factor. So, I, I think um, sometimes when when your outlook is positive and you're doing things that you're passionate or you really love doing. You know, other things na po put to sa side, aside, di ba? So, nagagawa ko yung gusto ko, nag-coach ako, yung pala, stressed out ako. <laughs> so, mo, nagugulat ako niyan, as in kaibigan kita, right now, uh, this is not in my script, kasi, Alam ng mga tao, mga kaibigan natin, you're the cool guy eh. Ikaw yung, I mean, kami, some of our uh, sa barkada natin, tay, kami yung mga medyo hot, you know, medyo intense. Pero ikaw, you've always been known as a cool guy na talagang calm and composed. Yeah. 
At uh, yun na nga sabi ko, hindi, sabi ko, hindi naman ako nagsisigaw sa court. Di, pag nag-coaching ko, nakadelegate yung sa assistant ko. So, sabi ko, anong nangyari? Paano ako na-stress? So, all the while, it was, you know, nung, uh, syempre, may konting reflection bilang uh-huh. Ignatian, Ignatian spirituality. Konting reflection. Uh-huh. Nung na-realize ko, it was because I was so used to winning and I was in that pursuit. Diba? You, you want to bring out the best from your team. Uh, and at the end of the day, hopefully, you'll get that win. And somehow, uh, more than that, you also would want to have uh, players or a team diba? or a staff na masabi nilang panalo. Dahil, so sabi ko, baka, baka dun yun. Nahabol mo kasi talagang yung, yung effort mo was dedicated to making it a successful run. Or, so, eh, ang pinaka mahaba namin naabot eh, final four. Di ba? Mm. So, so to, to, ano pa yan? Siyempre, it's a, there's a learning curve eh, when every time you handle new things. So, yun. So, that in itself, medyo, medyo, uh, uh, I guess, one example. But, but when it comes to uh, somehow pressure. Marami kasi ano eh, marami kasi pinaghuhugutan din eh. 'Di ba? No mention ko, you have to good mentors when it comes to work. Sa uh, coaching uh, naman, sa coaching naman, you rely on your experiences, 'di ba? Did uh, you ever have a mentor, pare? Did you ever have a mentor sa coaching? Sino ba yung senior coach during that time sa Ateneo or or anybody na nag-mentor sa iyo? Oh, si coach Norman. Coach Norman. Oh. oh, pero what I did that time because uh of several friends that I have, coaches and friends. I I, I called si John Flores, yung mga former uh, coach. Inumaga ko yun. I remember, um, sino pa ba? May isa pa akong tinawagin eh, na nag-handle din ng, ng whips. Ng, Even si Jamaik. Oo, oh, kasi nag-handle uh, din siya ng women's dati. And so, then, ganun ka talaga, po. As in, ganun ka. Pagka may bago kang trabaho, whether that's corporate or or yeah. coaching, or I guess managing, tanong ka ng tanong. Mahilig ka magtanong. Mahilig ka mag-learn from other people. Kasi what I learned, you know, growing up, if indeed I grew, <laughs> you know, growing up, <laughs> what I learned from growing up, um, ano eh, well, number one, wala naman bayad magtanong. Diba? So, I like that. Ganda nun. Hindi ka papapamahal kung magtanong ka eh. Number two, I cannot assume to know something that I really don't know. That's diba? Well, let's say, yun nga, coaching ng babae, di ba? Hindi ko pwedeng assume na lahat ng corners niyan, di ba? Alam ko, or kabisado ko. In the first place, iba ang babae sa lalaki. Hmm. Is it safe to assume that how they, the, the men's team would play would be the same as the women's team? Or even sa managing, I cannot assume that how I manage sa corporate will be the same as managing the team. But of course, dyan po pasok yung kung ano napagdaanan mo, uh, mentorship, nagtanong ka, uh, madami. Madami pero Actually, pinaka-val- pinaka-valuable sa akin, street, yung uh, learnings from the street. Yun. Actually, uh, but, alam mo when... Uh, we, uh, uh, if you're a viewer here, uh, kami ni Epoch, we were teammates high school, college, blockmates din kami. Okay? So, block... Pero na, m- m- mapapansin ko ko dito sa ke Epoch, ke Boss Epoch, which is he's most known for nowadays, is uh, very humble, definitely. I've known na mahilig magtanong, hindi, hindi insecure in that sense. And two, grabe dumiskarte. Talaga, yung, yan ba yung sinasabi mo? <laughs> Grabe, whether sa grades, kumausap ng teacher, makipagkilala, talagang, sa, sa mami mo ba nakuha mo yan? Sa airpads mo? Sa mo ba nakuha yan? Sa kanila, partly kasi, nung uh, growing up, again, if I grew, hindi, <laughs> growing up. <laughs> growing old na lang, growing old. <laughs> or maturing. Growing old. Ang business kasi ng parents ko, uh, garments, ah, sorry, sorry, tela, textile. Uh, so, Eh, ang tindahan before, yung famous is Divisoria, di ba? Everyone goes to Divisoria for whatever they need. So, ko, ang, ang summer job ko, nung 
pag uh, may ano tayo, summer training, tapos bakasyon pa, di ba? Nandun ako sa Divisoria. So, doon sa Divisoria, sa dami-dami ng taong makakausap mo, makikilala mo, at, you know, just, ano nga eh, wala pa sa pag-iisip mo yung to appreciate what you have eh. Kasi that mm. time, you can be you can see, actually, you'll experience people that are just, you know, trying to uh, go by. Diba? Yung mabuhay lang, araw-araw. So, yeah. doon lumalabas kung gaano sila in terms of in- innovative sa so, uh-huh. pag-discarte, ha, paano sila makipag-usap sa tao. But, uh, I think I was fortunate enough to meet people who are also genuine in 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 a way that hindi sila nagbalat kayo or hindi sila nagpretend mm. in front of you. Eh, kaya swerte rin ako dahil natutunan ko yung yung how they do things, how they talk, the simplest manner of talking to a buyer or even talking to you know yung sa sa divisorya kasi ang CR binabayaran yun. Bago uh, mauso yun sa Mega Mall, sa, sa, sa Shangri-La. Sa Divisoria na una yun. Kasi uh, okay. hindi na may tubig at malinis sa CR. So kahit yung mga taong ganun, ang dami nilang, they, they have so much to offer that sometimes when making decisions, pag binalikan mo, parang yun yung pinakasimple pero yun din yung pinakatama. So I yun, that. nalala ko yun. I love that. Sa lahat yun. Uh, na-notice ko yan sa'yo, ah, uh, you can talk to a MVP who is your boss, uh, Boss Al, whoever your bosses are. But you can also talk to a uh, yung janitor or you know, hindi ko naman sila binababa. Oh. Yeah, yung favorite natin ka usap para araw yung security guard natin sa atin na yun dati. <laughs> yung nagpapapark sa atin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> pero di ba? Pero di ba? Araw-araw na ginawa ng Jos. Ano ano yung pagiging kwento natin? Diba? Ang sasabihin ko sa'yo, Clay, ilan lang ba yung kumakausap sa kanila? Exactly. Yun na naalala ko. Naalala ko sinasabi mo sa diba? kanila. Diba? Sasabihin ko sa'yo, ba't ba ano ka ano, dyan lagi? Sipin mo, ilan lang ba yung kumakausap sa kanila? And, and you know, for for us, nakikisama tayo. But for them, malaking bagay yun. Kasi, nice. diba? So, so yung mga ganun, ganun bagay, natutunan ko sa divisory. Eh. Nice. Kahit hang, hanggang ngayon, eh, dito sa smart, kahit saan... Um, I, I, I think yung, yung, yung ganun way, uh, it, uh, it will go, you, it will bring you so far, pero at the same time, syempre, papasok na rin yung, yung mga management decisions mo, kung ano na yung mga critical, critical uh, incidents or the way you have to decide on things. So, and, and that's what I appreciate about you, Epoch. Yung, you can talk to the top and you can talk to, you know, yung mga, hindi, na, hindi naman baba, pero different kinds of people, if you will. Let me go back to a simple, ano, Pop, going back, you're, you took over, managed the, I have a couple of questions here. You managed the, the team of a five feet. What was going through your mind? As in, para, uh, ano to ah, uh, galing sa champion, kailangan mag-champion ulit and there was so much pressure in the first couple of years were not easy for you. Yes. Siyempre, nung, ano, nung binigay yung trabaho, after MVP uh, gave me a call, I was actually going home from Subic. Tinabi ko na baka maputol eh. Siyempre, MVP. <laughs> So, doon tumawag siya. Sabi niya, so, you're going to report tomorrow. Uh, saan po, boss? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, nung, nung pumasok lang sa isip ko noon, um, simple lang. Yung, yung uh, kasi that time, hindi talaga ako nananalo sa women's eh. So, para sa akin, I, I miss winning. Okay. No? So, Tapos tinignan ko lang that, that time nandun pa si Kiefer, si Vaughn, uh, si Newsom, then yeah. may, may sila Gotladera, Babylonia. So sabi ko, kaya pa to? Uh, laban pa, laban pa. Tapos on the way in uh, yung foreign players. So sabi ko, may chance to. 
true enough, I, uh, the first year, I think, final four, natalo, and then natalo sa finals. So, yes. sabi ko, sabi ko, ako, ito na naman. So, back to, <laughs> back to, ito, ano naman to, uh, ano natin to eh, uh, college days, di ba? Well, there, there are no shortcuts. Uh-oh, so sometimes, uh-oh. you just have to attribute it to that, di ba? Not, not because you want it so bad and you think you've, you've uh, accomplished everything in your checklist. It will result to a win, di ba? So, sabi ko, sige lang, uh, learn from it. Yung mga, yung mga maling ginawa, I try to improve on it. Uh, again, tawag sa mga <laughs> sa mga <laughs> tawag eh no uh, pero Pox uh, may question oh. bago mo ituloy yan kasi alam ko alam naman natin yung ending nito it's a 3 feet going for a 4 feet yeah. pero yung parang ano yung tumakbo sa utak mo na parang I'm gonna take this job nagtiwala ka ba kay MVP na may nakita siya sa'yo na na potential kasi ang dami naman yung tao to be very honest no Yeah. Bakit ikaw yung pin- did, did you say na I trust this successful man? He believes in me. I'll do the job even if, you know, or gusto mo rin, or halo. What was that process before we move on to the three peat? Actually, na-challenge ako. Oh, okay. Na-challenge ako yung sinabi. Of course, uh, yung, yung landing the job, it was, of course, a recommendation from, from several people eh. Diba? Of course, the school has to agree with it. Uh, yeah. Some of the basketball management people that time, si Pato, Enrique Vargas. So, pero, you know, so when it comes to to managing, na-challenge ako nun. Kasi, iba eh. Iba na naman, di ba? So, parang nung nag-start ako, iba na naman. So, wala kang pakialam, Pok. Wala kang pakialam kung five feet yung sinusundan mo. For you, it doesn't matter. For you internally, na challenge ka eh. It doesn't matter what the situation uh, is. Well, yung yung five feet sa akin eh, is a milestone in itself. But we all know that winning a championship in itself is difficult also. So sa akin gusto ko lang manalo uli ng isa nung time na yun. Okay. So nung coach mo hindi nangyari, di ba? Tapos the following year nga hindi ulit lumusot. And then Ayan, bagong challenge ulit kasi international caliber yung papasok na head coach. <laughs> oh. So, Andale, wag, wag ka muna pumunta doon. Sorry, ang bilis mo eh. Ito muna kasi oh, gusto sige, mo. Sige. Ano yung ganun, ganun kasi si Epoch sa basketball court mabilis talaga, okay? Uh, <laughs> pare, what happened uh nung you did not win that six feet? I mean, did you hear kasi alam ko, babunta tayo kay Coach Tab. Eh, eh, alam, yeah. mag- maganda na yan. No? Pero itong three years, kasi ako, I really want to see and learn from people during the pressure times na uh, during the tough times. Ika nga nila, lumalabas yung personality ng tao. What did you, did you hear anything? Did you feel anything? Of course. Of uh, course. Anong mga, p- pwede mo ba kami bigyan ng konting sneak peek sa mga sinabi ng tao or or naramdaman mo nung hindi ka nag-six feet tapos hindi ka rin nanalo the second year, uh, can you yeah. take us to that journey? Well, that time, uh, yes, maraming batikos. Things like But, ano? Like, ano sinasabi? Uh, pang championship yung team, dapat nanalo, oh. tapos yung kay ka- ka- Kahit Nunez. na wala na si Nasilotor, kahit na wala na si Nasilotor. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> si eh, si Nico, ganun ang, ang kagandahan ng marketing eh, di ba? Na na-set yung yung mood ng tao na meron kang phenom tapos may mga super friends, di ba? Pero yun nga. Ah, uh, yun ang sasabihin nila, sinayang yung ta- yung panahon ni ng, ng mga players yung last year nila. Di ba? So wow. may may mga may mga How did you feel? How did you feel course, going to that? Uh, you know, sometimes, ito yung ano eh, I don't know if it's, I, I think it's both good and bad eh. Kasi mm. diba, we learn from playing to somehow focus in and diffuse the surroundings, diba? Ta- para talagang nakatuto ka sa, sa laro. Uh-huh. Diba? But, but at the same time, uh, alam mong nandun yun. Aware ka pero hindi mo lang pinapansin or selective ka, whether that's the coach, 
their teammates, or sometimes their family. Di ba? Ganun yan eh. Alam mo lang na nandun sila eh. Pero, rare yung time, na, lalo na sa player, na you would consider, you know, an input, or kung ano man yung, yung sinasabi nung iba, nung mga hindi mo kakilala. Yeah. Uh, now, the reason why I said, pwedeng good or bad, kasi, uh, there, there came to a point, that, because you're used to diffusing it, parang mm. nawawala ka na ng paki. Mm. Negative lang, di ba? O, oh, sabi mo uh. negative, mas pasok na bas. Di ba? Parang yung... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kasi ayaw mo maapektuhan yung... yung... Uh, yung proseso na pinagdadaanan mo. So lahat, hindi diffuse mo. Ah, mag, magbabash ka? Okay, pasok na bas. O. Oh. Ngayon, ang, kaya ako tinitingnan siyang bad. Kasi... Tulad nga nung sinabi ko kanina, nung naman, pag naman nasa divisorya, ah, hindi rin naman lahat good yung sinasabi. Pero mm. bakit nung time na yun, pinapakinggan mo? At baka nung time na yun, may natutunan ka. So, kaya ako nice. sinasabi, kasi dapat kahit papano, nag-diffuse ka man, meron pa rin maganda dyang sinasabi. Na galing, dapat mag- galing. That's so, great. I mean, so, sobrang it, it, ano yun ah. Sobrang ano yun ah. I think for our viewers, for me personally, sobrang nugget of wisdom yan. Na talagang makinig kahit pa minsan. Ayaw, may makukuha at makukuha ka eh, no? Yeah, kasi, di ba, walang mali sa so mag-focus in ka, whether that's basketball or that's your career or work-related or even business, wala naman mali eh. Di ba, kung ba may magsasabi sa sa'yo, di ba, yung sushi bake mo, fake, di ba? O, <laughs> sige lang, o, pakinga mo. Pero pag sinabi sa sa'yo, Uh, what if lagyan mo pa ng konting salmon? Eh, uh, pero dahil uh, nasana yung nasanay ka na, na dinidiffuse mo yun, bina, binablock mo lagi yun, eh hindi mo siya napakinggan. Eh yun pala yung ikakalago ng negosyo mo. So parang galing. minsan yun yung, ano eh, yun yung naging downfall nung pag, pag zero in. Eh. Galing. Nung, And, so yun. So yun, yun yung naging danger nung when you zero in into something that you want to do and you're so passionate about it and determined to win it at all costs, whether business or basketball or uh, kung ano man, di ba? Nakatuto ka doon na hindi mo na pinapakinggan lahat dahil tingin mo, kailangan mo tumutok doon. When in fact, minsan pala yung sagot nandun. Di ba? Nice. Simple as, as simple as uh, you know, kailangan mo dagdagan ng isang kutsarang asukal yung pagkain or in terms of uh, basketball that time when we were losing, uh, it was evident that nung paalis sa sila Kiefer, we really had to to uh, recruit and get new players on board. So, okay. marami, maraming, maraming, ano, maraming, maraming nagsabi na masama, but, you know, most of them respected the fact that it was a process altogether. Uh, alam naman natin na uh, yung Ateneo alumni eh napaka wala masyadong opinion yan eh. <laughs> <coughs> 'Di ba? Ah uh, siguro ano, uh, siguro ang ganda nung sinabi mo about yung criticism, yung getting yung mga constructive criticism siguro and yung others hate hate lang no, uh, mga haters. So ang ganda nung pag-process. I think in everybody here can learn a lot from what uh, si Boss Epoch. Weird pa rin tawag si Epoch, Boss Epoch. Eh, no? Kasi Epoch, Epoch lang, lang tawag ko dito. Eh. <laughs> But uh, here, that learning, that constructive criticism, listening. And I think it also takes humility on your part. Uh, uh, nakita ko very humble tong si Epoch ever since we were young. Okay, move on. Nabanggit mo na ng konti, leading to my next question. Part of your job is recruiting. Yes. Yeah, nasabi mo nga, you need to recruit after keeper. Can you just share? Uh, pwede mong banggit yung name? Pwedeng hindi. <clears throat> Can you share like a, an interesting conversation with the recruit? Whether naglaro siya sa atin. Something memorable. Something funny. Something something na hindi mo makakalimutan kahit na 70 years old na tayo. Na, nung re-recruit ko to, nakakatawa to. Or nakaka, nakakaloko. Memorable recruit. Hindi ba nakakatawa? <laughs> Marami ka nang re-recruit whether tumuloy o hindi. Nag-aano pa ako, nag-iisip ako na nakakatawa. Memorable. Eh. Oh, kahit hindi nakakatawa, memorable. 
memorable kasi nung kasi nung pagpasok ko medyo buo yung team eh, di ba? So ang mga minimal lang recruitment lang. Tapos the following year um doon talaga kami even before the season. Doon talaga kami nag naghanap ng ng players. And uh Ang nakakatawa doon nung nare-recruit namin yung Kambal. Yung Kambal. Oh. Nieto Twins, okay? Oh. They were from Kasi, Ateneo High School. They were from At- yes. Para lang sa mga viewers natin, they were from Ateneo High School champion sa Eaglet. Then you were recruiting yes. the Nietos, no? Okay. Yes, and they also represented the Batang Gilas or the national team. So, medyo medyo in terms of resume, talagang kailangan mo silang kunin, di ba? But of course, yung batch nila, ang daming players noon. Ang daming players. So, nung, 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 nung sinasabi namin na, ano, nung kausap ko yung family, sabi na, oh, uh, mag-isipa ba kayo ng, ano, ng ibang skwela? So, parang, but syempre, atin na. And, and that time, actually, hindi naman talaga nakakatawa. Pero magandang, mag-insightful lang. Yeah. Yung sabi ni, ano, ang, ang worry namin that time, si Matt. Mm. Kasi si Matt, ang dami niyang kaposisyon nun. Nandun pa sila... Kani, Pingoy. Kani, Pingoy. O, Elorde, nandun pa nun. Naabutan ni Matt yun eh. Dapat eh. So, okay. sabi namin, oh my, ang dami yung kaposisyon. Paano natin mapapalaro yan? Mm. Or paano siya... Tapos, uh, kumpiyansa kami nun, si Mike, kasi nakasabay nga si Michael uh, Tatum eh, di ba? Sa, sa FIBA World. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, sabi ko, yung mga six four lang yung sasabayan ni Big Mike that time, kaya niya yan. So, may lugar yan. So, so all the while, n- nandun kami. And, and look how somehow it turned out for them, no? Di ba? Parang, um, Matt is one of the sort of after in terms of uh, playing the guard position. Uh, si Mike also made it to the to the pros or the the Gila school. Yes. Pero I guess ang pinaka maganda ron. And hindi ko yung aasa ka na yun na mangyayari pero in actuality magandang nakita kasi talagang nag na motivate yung bata eh no? to work his ass off just yeah. to prove himself and i guess more than prove himself to lead the team diba ang nice. galing eh kasi you know from from somehow hindi naman doubting for for having some questions parang na translate yun na nabuo pa ganun diba and then of course we we have several recruits also and you know for for some reason i na ano to may konting sayang eh di ba yung sila sila Kani, sila Arvin uh, Tolentino, yeah. Arvin, pumunta pa ako sa bahay niyan, di ba? And and recruiter ka ano, talaga, recruiter ka talaga. Uh, how the, pero kasi, kahit kahit na hindi na sobrang detail, but how does it feel to be a recruiter? I mean, anong mindset na pumapasok sa utak okay. mo? Ito ang pinaka Oh, uh, no, no na nung una, ang isipin mo lang paano siya mapupunta sa team, magko-complement ng team, uh, and also, paano siya magkakaroon ng makatapos sa education para meron siyang option sa buhay at may taas yung pamilya nila, di ba? So, yun, yun yung una eh. So, kung malagay mo na yan, malagay mo na. Pero, you know, eventually, what I realized that because most of the time I I I talk to the recruits, uh, players and the families. Medyo mabigat din pala. Kasi especially for the men's team, they look at uh, basketball as something that they can do even after yeah. school. So uh, in other words, livelihood, di ba? Kabuhayan. And when we lost several players because of uh, academics, uh, isa rin ako dun sa nalungkot. Kasi mm. ako yung kausap, ako yung humarap dun sa mga magulang na nag-usap kami na ang pare-pareho kaming uh, tinitingnan na makatapos yung, yung bata at makapaglaro ng professional basketball. 
Yeah. So I I I guess in, in it didn't work for Ateneo but at the same time alam mo yung meron kang sa loob mo na parang panghihinayang na sayang and all that. Yeah. And, and yun yung ano, 'di ba? Uh, goal nila. Uh, sorry to cut you off yung goal nila. Yeah. Yung iba sa mag PBA. Katulad nung picture mo dun sa likod yung napa-draft, parang nandiyan yeah. kayo. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Kasi mga mi- mga millennial Si Sir Epoch <laughs> ay na-draft ng Talk and Test. Naka-portrait. Ayan. Pakita mo naman. Kaya bang bunutin yan? Ano ba yan? Kaya naman. Ay, hindi. Ayan, no? <laughs> si, si Coach Joel yan, no? Tama ba? Coach Joel. Oh, Coach Joel. Ayan. So, so grabe so si Segway. So yun. Yeah. So, yung the reality is that when we deal with people, families, di ba, uh, you are actually somehow telling them that uh, you're taking care of the kid, diba? You're preparing him, you're helping prepare for the future. So, nice. yun nga, kapag ka hindi na, no, mabigat din. Pero pag nakita yeah. mo rin mo yung bata, nagsaksin, okay din. Kaya, Grabe, um, no? <laughs> oh, and, uh, sabi ko nga, more than, you know, the the management or the administrative side of you know the mga payroll and and uh, lahat ng mga financial statements or kung ano man yan yung pakikisama mo sa pamilya yung mga pinag-usapan nyo yun yung mabigat and uh, yun talaga yung yun talaga yung sabi mong ano eh uh, it will somehow affect their future Nice. Diba? So, kung kung man pagdadasal mo at mangyari lahat, maganda. Walang mag, hindi magkaroon ng problema. Eh, di mabuti. Pero, truth is, hindi. Eh. Di ba? Nagkakaroon talaga ng mga problema. Uh, okay. F- follow-up question ko, po. Uh, uh, is, well, let's fast forward. Eventually, uh, that uh, you change coaches. You have Coach Tab Baldwin, which... Uh, I have a couple of questions about working with him. Alam mo naman natin, Coach Tab is a brilliant international coach. He also got into heat with, uh, you know, some other things. And and I guess, ito yung nakakatawa without divulging naman information. We 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 know, just watching Coach Tab, I I, I started coaching the women's na rin, had interactions with him. He's a very strong uh, person in the sense of malakas yung yeah. dating. Uh, and, and I think, Kung hindi alam ng mga viewers natin, part of the being a manager is working with the coach, right? So how is it working? Siguro ito na yung question. How is it working with an outspoken, brilliant, uh, and uh, a coach with a strong personality that, such as Coach Nat Baldwin? Hindi uh, naman nakakapagod. <laughs> <laughs> uh, working with Coach Tab, uh, ano eh, um, when you work with him, when it comes to basketball, again, like some of the things that I always apply, you know, I cannot pretend that I know more than him. Especially <laughs> parang wala naman experience. yata sa, parang wala naman diba? yata sa buong Pilipinas ang mas may alam ki Coach Tab. <laughs> diba? So, whether abroad or dito, kung saan mga kami magpunta, diba? it, it won't do me justice to say that I know more than you. But, uh, working with him is is somehow um, ano ba tawag doon? Mali kasi yung mindset nung iba pag nakikita ko eh. Ang mindset hmm. kasi is not to work with Coach Tab but to work with a person. Hmm. With that. So kahit bag- tanggalin mo yung coach. Marami uh. kasing Marami kasing, kasi, tulad nga sabi ko, hindi ka naman nalas sa debate sa basketball eh. <laughs> diba? Pero, pag buhay yung pinag-usapan and how he can go by in terms of uh, his work surrounding and people that he work with, dun yung usapan natin. Ano ba yung mga kabuti sa kanya? Ano ba yung hindi? Ano bang support or tulong na kailangan niya? Um, I, always, I always tell him, that, you know, when it comes to basketball, whatever you do, I'll support you. So long as the school will allow it to. Yes. But, but sometimes, 
eh, alam naman natin na Amerikano si Coach Tab eh. Yes, Sometimes, oh, naman. Don't, you know, don't, uh, I hope you, you don't uh, take it against me when I say things directly to you. Siguro, okay. part of it, Pok, is sometimes trying to explain uh, Philippine culture siguro or <laughs> uh, yung mga ganon. So, kumbaga, hindi ka lang recruiter, no? Hindi ka lang nag yeah. ng financial but, statement. But, Ikaw din yung, yeah. hindi lang kay Coach Tab, but I guess even with the other players, uh, di ba? Yung yeah, binamanage. An- oh. Correct. Ang pinaka-challenge lang kay, kay Coach Tab, ang pinaka-challenge lang sa kanya because he's already ayoko nang tawag senior. Pero, <laughs> he has tons and tons of experience already. Diba? He has built, you know, philosophies in his, his brain. May mga kagawi, ano may mga prinsipyo na yan na, <coughs> na, na, na nasa kanya na. Ang, ang challenge doon, eh, pagka hindi nagtutugma. Yeah. Na gusto siyang gawin, tingin niya, ganito. You know, so, yun ang yun ang yun ang mahirap yun ang mahirap and and I, I, I guess yun dun ako napapagod minsan kasi you have to yun, bridge that eh. dun dun pumapasok yung mga lessons mo sa Divisoria na <laughs> sino sino ka usap mo kaya I uh, really think you're you know I always tell Macy my wife na you are perfect for the job N- not lang for Coach Tab because he's a great guy uh, just uh, MVP players, Ateneo alumni, Jesuits, parang all of these things, if there is somebody who can actually work with them and make it work, and, and that's really you. Well, unfortunately, hindi na. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tutuloy na ako dito. Uh, patapos na tayo. No? Uh, we fast forward, you, you won a championship. Uh, that was the first one. Not a lot of people expected dahil may embala pa si si Lasal during the time. Let's be honest, no? Yes. Pero, uh, pero, actually, even the year before, nung tinalo nyo sila once, ang galing na, eh, no? And, uh, you won the championship the first year. But, talk to me about sustained excellence. Talk to me about the three-peat wherein, yes, you won one, but it's, I'm sure it was very hard. And, uh, but for our viewers here, yung, so, yung commitment to excellence nyo na naisusustain nyo to even with graduation, even with other teams getting stronger. How do you do that? Uh, as a team, as a manager specifically, paano mo nagagawa yun po? Yung, I, I, I want to say because of mindset, but really it's just part of it, di ba? Uh, I guess part of the education that we we got and you know the 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 players are now uh, experiencing which one of them is yung famous word nya natin na magic diba to do more yes uh, the perspective of the team somehow uh hindi naman more than changed it actually improved when we were given a chance to play outside the philippines diba mm. the scope came wider uh and then i guess sa ibang aspeto rin whether it's work related or exposure to to other things even in speaking or in writing or even gaming this time yung mga e games paglabas mo di ba iba eh nag-iiba lahat yan and ang pinakamagandang nabigay sa sa atin noon para nag-complement siya dun sa yun nga yung turo sa to do more or to to be beyond what you can what you are normally delivering nagkaroon yung team ng ng attitude na you know there's there's a target that we have to to meet and there's a level of play that we want to achieve so nung nung nagkaroon ng exposure yung mga bata ngayon they themselves hindi nagsettle yan remember pagka UAAP di ba eh, you know hindi naman sa mamalito do kahit ng panahon natin eh Oh, itong team na to, yeah. bibilangin mo na. Talo, tatalunin natin yan. Dito, <laughs> makadehado tayo. Dito, di ba? Parang ganun eh. In, in, in a way, nanuluka tayo eh. Di ba? Sa, sa, sa totoong buhay, ganun din yun. Yan, nasa corporate ka. O oh, sabi mo, itong meeting na to, dadaanan ko lang yan. Ito, ako, baka kailangan ko mag-ready. So, pero in, 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 in theory, nung na-expose yung team, na-expose lahat, even the coaches, to another level of basketball, 
lahat sila parang na challenge sila eh, with with of course Tab's direction yes yes pass and level of play and yeah. hindi ano yun eh hindi basta baste so from before na ang barometer mo eh si Rembala mm-hmm. wala na na ina iba na ang um, even like for example eto lang move ni Terdi eh no, uh, so tama. going to so right uh, for now, for those who don't know sorry ah para lang ano kasi yeah, hindi puro sports eh uh, for uh-huh. those who don't know, si Third D Ravenna, one of the star players of Ateneo sa team ni Epoch, uh, chose to do a different path. No, imbis na nag PBA siya, nakaraniwan sa atin, eh dumerecho siya sa isang liga sa Japan at maglaro professionally. Go ahead, Epoch. Yes. So, yung horizon ngayon ng players ay eh, lumawak. Galeng, so, galeng. Parang ano? Parang sabi ko nga eh, nung, nung una. Ano bang madi-deliver ni Coach Tab, di ba? Sabi ko, pag pumunta ka sa isang conference, may foreign speaker, tapos na rin, ha, ngayon ko lang narinig yun ah. Uh-huh. Sa coaching, parang gano'n si Tab. Ngayon, lumabas ka ng Pilipinas, nakalaro ka, naka-experience ka, nakita mo how beautiful basketball can be played in this level. Yung mga players ngayon, parang it's not so difficult to sell them the idea. So, lahat siya na nag-on board. And, Kung baga talagang lum, ano, bumukas yung isip, bu, yung horay, talagang the possibilities uh-huh. suddenly are not just in the Philippines, endless na siya sa buong mundo yes. na, ganun ba? Yes. Kaya yung Jones Cup, Jones Cup, we played every day. We, yung scouting, yung mga coaches, yung mga assistant coaches, sila Coach Sandy, Coach Jones, sila Coach Yuri, natutulog yan every day, 1 o'clock, 2 a.m. just to be able to prepare uh, a tape for the following day, yung scouting report tendencies. So, pag yeah. the following day naman, yung player, gising, breakfast, viewing, shooting, laro na yan. So, hindi yung tipong UAP na you have to prepare. No. And, you know, not not to not to uh, compare naman with the other teams. But, you know, we were coming in there as a collegiate team with uh, the, an average, average age of 21. <laughs> so, so talagang bata yung team noon. And for them to perform that way and for them to to also experience and see yung basketball outside the, the Philippines, uh, very fortunate din sila. Pero kung hindi mo ma-process yun, if you don't get to reflect on it and realize kung ano yung dulot sa'yo nun, bali wala lahat yun. Bali wala uh, 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 Ang ganda nun because I think uh, with all of us, sometimes... Uh, we want to just limit our perspective uh, but we want to make sure that we widen our perspective sa kayong yung di ba usually kung saan tayo comfortable doon tayo sa yeah. comfort zone but i think what you're saying is in order to grow not lang in basketball but in anything parenting uh marriage uh corporate na we have to continuously expand eto last question ko sa iyo po tapos may maliit akong uh, may short game ako para sa iyo okay <laughs> okay. Malaboy abunda to, Brad. Okay? Uh, so, last question. <laughs> Wait, last Boxer. question. Boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Parang alam ko naman yun. Okay. Um, how is it dealing with young people? So, Coach Tab, Coach Shandy, all of these, uh, Coach G, nandiyan sila. Pero, you know, it's pretty difficult, right? I mean, it's different. Their generation now, medyo iba. But you get to work yeah. with them. Every day, yeah. they're 20, 21, molding stage pa sila. How, how do you approach them? Uh, ano yung sa tingin mo? Na, ano ba? Parang gusto mo silang tulungan? Gusto mo silang i-guide? Itong privilege na mag-mold ng mga young men uh, towards their purpose and destiny? Uh, well, number one, ang, I always do this. Eh. I observe really hard. To, to a point that sometimes I take down notes. Mm. So, pagka, kunyari, may yung mga... Bu- buti, pa, buti pa dyan, buti pa dyan, nagno-notes ka nung magkaklase tayo, hindi ka naman nagno-notes, nakakatlay. Nagdo-drawing lang ako noon, nagdo-drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, tuloy, 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 tuloy. So, nag- nag-observe ako doon. Sobra. Whether that's, uh, I observe, yung basketball kasi minsan hinahayaan ko na yan eh. Dahil madami na kaming coaches para tingnan yan. Pero yung how they, well, number one, introvert, extrovert. Diba? Number two, 
ano yung mga ginagawa nila? Nagtutukay ba yan? Or mahilig ba sa pop culture? Mahilig ba sa sneaker yan? So, so kaya in a way, napekto din ako, damaged goods. Kasi nung nagbilihan sila na, <laughs> nagbilihan sila ng Supreme, napabili din ako. Pero, <laughs> pero it's, it's actually a way for me. Ini-engage mo sila. Ini-engage mo sila. Eh, exactly. No? exactly. Engagement. But, but ultimately, to tell them that, you know, whatever it is, we can, andito lang tayo. Pwede tayong lumebel. Hindi tayo, hindi ako yung, yung someone na kailangan mong katukin sa opisina or magpa-schedule ng, ng meeting. Uh-huh. Diba? Um, hindi yes. ganon. So, and honestly, when you, when, when you get the chance, you ask Curdy or even sila Matt and Mike na yung mga graduate na, ang tawag nila sa akin, Brad. Kasi gusto ko... And you, and, you, and you don't mind. You don't mind. I don't mind. You don't mind. I don't mind. So, ako lang yung tumatawag na, ng lahat, boss, kasi wala man akong pakilang talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Pero alam mo, alam mo po, very consistent yung story mo, no? Parang from Divisoria to ano, ganun din, parang not the position, pero just you just do your job. And, ang galing kasi, eh. Kasi, ang, ang ganda ng ano. Kasi I think if, let's say, di ba, nung nag-recruit ka nga, nung sinabi mo na, you know, this will be good for you, education, and you know, the future, parang you you made a commitment that you'd help them, eh. not only him, but the family, di ba? So how, yeah. how, how can you even understand them if you don't want to, to you know, be parang part na. of something that they love doing? Diba? How can the very least also help them if you don't know kung ano yung pinagdadaanan nila? And yun naman, sa pamilya yun. Diba? Nag-a-adjust ka. Ikaw, medyo tatlo yung boys mo. Diba? Uh, so, ikaw, iba, iba rin ikaw yung tatlo girls mo, tapos may babae ka. Diba? Three girls, dax na ka. Uh. <laughs> kung, ano yung, kung ano yung hilig ng isa, not necessarily gusto ng isa. Pero you get to, you have to engage to them and you have to know them para pag the time comes, lalo na doon sa mga introvert na kinausap ka, alam mo yung isasagot mo. Alam mo kung saan ka lulugan. Well, in the first place, magsasalita sila sa'yo. At yun naman, yan yung natututunan natin sa pamilya, yung pagiging tatay, di ba? yung pagiging pagkakaroon ng, ng mga anak. Ang, ang pinaka-challenge lang sa akin ngayon, I, I think that the there's always uh, a silver, li- silver lining. Silver lining. Silver lining uh, or there's uh, always uh, opportunity somewhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, in, in this crisis. No? I, I think okay. yung, yung pinakang maganda nun eh, huminto lahat. Diba? Even the students, they have their academics, they have their basketball practices, they have their their uh, co-curricular activities. Diba? Social and, life. Man, uh, social life. You know, 24 hours, you're sleeping 8 hours, but you have your phone for 20 hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> at daming airtime or nandun yung mata mo. Ang, ang challenge talaga dyan, eh, somehow, uh, relies also on their spirituality. Mm. Diba? You, you, nanood ako nung isang araw sa Netflix, and it's so true. Yung old, uh, yung si Charlize Theron ba yun? Anyway, <laughs> kasi, kasi, more, kasi kami, kasi kami, ano eh, old guard, old guard. Old guard, oh, kasi pulaga pinapanood mo eh. <laughs> <laughs> totoo nga, totoo, totoo. So, yung, yung immortal, yung sila, yung ano eh, yung mga characters doon. Tapos may bagong recruit sila. Sabi nung recruit, kasi tatalun sila sa airplane eh. Sabi, oh, we have to pray. We have to pray to God. Sabi nung, nung old guard, sabi niya, ah, God? I was once called God. Sabi niya. Mm-hmm. Kasi immortal siya. Di ba? Sinong ba ako dati? So, ngayon, because of all this, you know, not naman technology, but all the the praises that you get sa, sa multi, sa, in, sa IG, social network, no, sa Facebook, and all that. You know, masyadong, masyadong parang na-uplift yung personal lalo na when you listen to them, when you get affected, when you, let's say, you, you have 20,000 comments and all of the comments are saying that ang pogi mo. Diba? You, you tend to believe, you tend to believe that that's true or even if that's true, you tend to put it in your head. Uh, uh, 
hindi naman talaga yun yung ultimate goal. And the reason why I'm saying this is because sana yung ibang time bumalik sa sa ultimate uh, ano natin ultimate word which is the bible and nauubos eh nawawala nice. na ng time doon eh nawawala na ng nag- nagkukulang yung maraming lesson sa buhay eh. nandoon yung galing sa coaches galing sa kali sa teachers of course may may mga mas kayo pero in fact you know sometimes yung ibang oras doon dapat mabigay natin doon sa dapat nakakakuha which is him wow, so i grabe. guess yun yung yun yung ano eh yun yung yun yung pwede nilang gawin ngayon hindi dahil may pandemic <laughs> wow Pok, sobrang that's huge i mean i'm just hearing you before we go on to our little game because i know you're very busy um just the way you think of other people the way you know itong kakasabi mo nga lang just the spirituality of the kids putting it back to where it's supposed to be, you know, yung relationship kay God. That's amazing what you're doing. Uh, more than winning championships, I think yun din yung impact mo sa mga bata. Uh, uh, Tana. Yun ang ano there. ko yun. yun. Yun actually ang 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 target ko. Yung somehow uh, kahit pa paano ma, ma, ano ko sila, oh, mag, mag, hindi lang dahil may religion classes. Uh-huh. Diba? Uh-huh. Kahit pa paano, diba? you, you follow there's so many ways, eh. There's, there's Bible apps now, di ba? Ang dami naman, uh, eh. Just to remind you daily, eh. Kasi, iba pa rin yung rooted ka doon. Iba pa rin yung... Galing. Bago ka sumabak sa laro or bago ka lumabas sa bahay mo, nagdadasal ka. Iba pa rin yun. Ay, na galing. Uh, iba pa rin. Ito na, Kaya, tanong ko, boxers sa Divisoria, or ano? Ano, sa, ano, sa, sa Divisoria? Kaya ka sa Divisoria, halos lahat nagpupunta ng Quiapo sa Kabaklaran. Ah, uh, nagdadasal. Okay. Kasi That's lahat nagpunta ko sa O, oh, ito na. Alam ko. Boxer, ka, boxer. Brad. <laughs> ito na. Oh, ito, we'll go to Let's our go. segment. Okay. <laughs> Kandira. Take, hindi pwede yan. Kakalala ko yung asawa mo. Best friend ng asawa ko yan. Okay. Take me to the top. Okay. Ang goal ng game natin is to set, to get a sneak peek of what is inside the head of Mr. Epoch Kimpo, manager of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Top of mind. I just, magsasabi lang ako ng isang word or phrase, tapos sasabihin mo lang din sa akin kung ano yung first uh, thing that comes into your mind. Are you ready, brother? Game, game. Okay, game. Alright. Mag-disinfect muna ako para... <laughs> okay, eto na. Yes. Yes. First, okay, uh, kahit na anong pumasok sa utak mo. Una-una, restaurant. Oh, uh, moragami. <laughs> okay. Kulay. Color. Oh, blue. Blue. Ay, nag, grabe, nagulat naman ako. Sack naman ako sa kulay mo. I, I was expecting green. Uh, u- ulam na luto ni Monica, ng yung asawa. Uh, sinigang. Sinigang na? Bangus, baboy. Baboy. Baboy, baboy syempre. Kaibigan kita, baboy tayo. Next, oh. <laughs> when I say uh, Ateneo. Oh, uh... Excellence. Excellence. When I say Juniors Championship 1995. Um, Enchanted Kingdom. Kasi doon tayo nag-party. Hindi Hong Kong, hindi Japan. Seniors Championship 2002. Oh, uh... Nothing is impossible. Hindi na word. <laughs> oh, oh, okay lang. Okay lang yun. Nothing is impossible. Ateneo Blue Eagles 3 peat Championship. Sweep. <laughs> yeah. Napaka-humble mo, Brad. Napaka-humble mo. Okay, next. Uh, last two. Family. Oh. Uh, fun. Fun. Uh, and I'm gonna be expecting the Kimpo girls who play volleyball. To, I'm, I'm gonna be expecting them in a couple of years to, uh, in the UAAP uh, UAAP ano, Wars. Para, para uh, maseryoso, happiness. Hindi, <laughs> 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 magpakatotoo ka na. Huwag mo na palitan. <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi ko na may, hindi ko na may edit ano. itong part na to. Ayos lang, ayos lang. Uh, sige, happiness na rin. And last but not the least, brother, 
for you, what is the meaning of success? Oh. Success means um, one word. One word. Sige, kahit phrase, pare. Kaibigan naman kita, ilulusot ko na. Success means uh, wala eh. Parang ano eh. Parang sirang plaka eh. Success means helping others talaga. Wow. Actually, alam mo, yung producer namin, nagme-message siya sa akin habang nag-shoot tayo. Sabi niya nga, parang yung theme natin, he was messaging me, it's you of helping people. And I think just saying that summarizes it all. Uh, Epoch, maraming salamat. Sana maulit natin to. Thanks for Thank you. having me. I know, good luck sa'yo. God bless you sa, well, of course, work sa smart, your family, si Monica, and of course, sa atin yung Blue Eagles. Anyway, uh, may last words ka ba? May sasabihin ka ba ba sa ating mga viewers before we go? Uh, pasensya na kayo. Napahaba. No? Uh, pero kasi mahirap ka usap tong idol ko si L.A. Momar. Eh. So, from, from basketball, uh, sinundan hindi ko na yung showbiz, showbiz pare, career niya. Pare, hindi ko na nga binring up na lumabas ka sa Burks nung lumabas ako sa tabing ilog. Pare, hindi ko na nga binring up yon. Parang hindi na nila marinig. Shopee, Shopee. <laughs> But, pero, eh, pero sana, sana, ano, sana may natutunan kayo sa akin munting kwento. Uh, eh, eh, masarap, masarap yung kwentuhan na ganito. And, uh, you, you know, we, kami nila LA and, and matagal kami magkakasama. But, you know, we rarely have these times eh, yung ganitong kwentuhan. Yeah. Which, which, you know, I'm sure in the, the days to come, mangyayari at mangyayari yan. And yeah. yun, at, at the end of it all, we, lalo na yung mga malapit sa buhay natin, yung mga mahal natin, let's try to reach out to them and to see if they're okay and they're doing fine. And at the end of the day, uh, stay safe, everyone. Well said. Maraming salamat, pare. Uh, again, for all our listeners out there, we had uh, manager Christopher Epoquimpo uh, of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. We hope that uh, life actually discussion help you and uh, enlighten you and encourage you uh, during these tough times. I hope that we can apply the values that we learned kay Mr. Epokimpo. God bless you and please listen to our next and latest episode. God bless.